Yo, Alphonse. Yo, is the camera on? I'm ready to go. It's on? All right, all right restart it, restart it. Okay. On the count, count down from three, okay? Okay. Three. Okay, two. One. Okay, there you go. What's good, guys? It's your boy, King Astra, here to drop you another video. And I know, I know, you're about to be like, bruh. Look how clean you look, King Osra. The boy was a hoe, huh? Blue face, baby. Yeah, yeah. I and I was gonna be like, ah, oh, thank you, man. You know, I gotta try. You know, last time I was noticing in my videos, your boy was looking pretty rusty, dusty. He was looking like he was damn thirty. Okay, so I'm like, you know what? I gotta fix that. So you know, came in with the clean cut. You know, show the whole world. You know, new face, new me. I'm pretty sure you heard that in one of my old videos. <laughs> so, since, you know, I got this nice haircut, and uh, I swear a week ago I watched Don the Sauce God, you know, Bad Haircuts video, I'm like, maybe, maybe I should do a story time video talking about my experiences with bad haircuts. Okay, now, hit the like, the share, I don't think there is a share button. Subscribe button. Hit all the fucking buttons there is, okay? You know, just hit all of them. And enjoy the video. So, like, growing up, there were three things that was wrong with me. One, I was ugly as shit. And I, oh. All right. I mean, like, I'm, I'm still am low key, high key, ugly as shit, but like, I was ugly as fuck in my younger years. Secondly, I had no good sense of fucking hygiene. Hygiene. And when I say I'm, I was ugly and fucked up, I'm mostly applying to like middle school, elementary school because you know during that time you know kids just don't care and you know and if I could go back in time and see and talk to my old self I'll probably fucking slide them okay I'll probably fucking slide them and be like yo yo ugly ass nigga you need to get your shit together I mean for real and third of all your boy had the worst haircuts imagined I mean I mean like I had the plugs the patches in my head I mean my haircuts were so bad that the kids at school used to call me patchy the pirate or oh another one they used to say like I used to have my haircut looked like a fucking chili bowl like I mean your boy used to get baked on a daily basis. And you know who I blame for that? I blame my fucking dad. So, I mean, this man used to just my whole head up all completely. I mean, I remember one time, it was picture day. And I begged my dad, please, please. It's like fourth grade. I'm like, please take me to go get a haircut. Let's go to a barber. The barber, he's only charging $10, please. And my dad, he was a, he was an army guy. And I'm just going to be for real. He was like, he was like a real ass, like Mr. Krabs. I mean, he was cheap beyond belief. And, you know, last but not least, he was bald. He was, he was bald. Like, I never ever seen this man with an ounce of hair on his head at all. So, so like, he took it upon himself being cheap and bald to just cut my hair, okay? And my whole family used to be like, why you do that boy that way? Why you do him that way? Okay, why, 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 why is his hair looking like that? And you know the funny thing is they will say that, but, like, nobody would... 
pick up young King Asura and be like, yo, let's go to the barbershop. Like, nobody did that. Instead, they just, they just complained, all right? So, like, again, going back to this picture day, it was at least fourth grade, and it was just, like, this beautiful, like, cute-ass girl in the fourth grade. We're going to call her Denise. All right, so... You know, what What? What causes confidence? So I already told you before, I had no confidence. But, you know, again, I had no good hygiene. I was ugly ass. And I had just the most fucked up haircuts. So like, overall, like, your boy, your boy wasn't getting those hoes. All right, like, girls wasn't looking my way. They were more, they weren't running to me. They were more running away from me. So like, I begged my dad, cause this is this time, like I mean, I brushed my teeth, like I cut my fingernails, I did everything. I mean like, to keep myself from being ashy, I poured like the whole bottle of baby oil on me. All right, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna look good on this picture day, and you know what? I'm gonna tell Denise, I'm gonna slide her that little paper and be like, do you like me? So again, Begging my dad. My dad was like, oh, all right, I'll give you a haircut. He took me into the bathroom. He didn't bring me no chair or nothing. And that's when I knew the boy was going to get fucked up. Oh, I hell mean, no. I mean, normally when you get a haircut, normally they cut the top, fade you down and stuff. Then, you know... And with the lineup, maybe no, normally the lineup is like the last thing, but no, this man, he decided to start with the lineup first. And when he started with the lineup, all thing I heard was, oh shit, oh shit. And when I looked in the mirror, my hairline was from here. I swear that bitch was right here. I mean, my hairline was right here. And on top of that, it wasn't even straight. <laughs> I no, mean, no, no, I had no. a really <laughs> rainbow hairline. All right. My hairline, okay, looked like <laughs> fucking Barney made it. I mean, like, on some real shit. So, I had to go to school like that. And I still thought, you know, I still feeling myself because I at least dress, I'm dressing good, smelling good. And when I tried to talk to Denise, it just, it, it didn't go well. You know, I, I got rejected. All right. So on, so forth. Um, what to say, this, these bad haircuts will continue until your boy just had enough. And in the eighth grade, he just decided to cut his own hair. Because the thing is, the thing is, like, I can, like, I, I'm okay with me fucking up my own self. I'm not okay with somebody else fucking me up. Because you see, when somebody else is fucking you up, you're like, you know, you're standing over me. You're looking at my head shape, everything. You should be able to clip me up nice, all right? And not only that, he took me to some of his friends who claim to be barbers. And they, too, fucked me up. And he paid money for them. So I'm like, I'm not paying nobody to fuck me up. And I'm not gonna let you fuck me up. So I'm just I'm just gonna fuck my own self up. And I got tired of being called Patchy the Patchy the Pirate and Chili Bowl Head Kid. Okay, I already have like a Mr. Potato Head. Alright, so I was like, nah, I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, so the first couple times, you know, I failed uh, miserably. Alright, I mean one time, I remember my fucking hairline looking like a squiggly line. But I was like, you know what? Better to be a squiggly, squiggly line than a fucking rainbow. So, so anyways, like, I would practice make better. And when the boy got into high school, like, the start of ninth grade, your boy perfected his craft. I mean, I was able to like give straight hairlines. I mean, by this part, by this time in my life, I was doing so good that your people in the hood was coming up to me like, yo, King Oscar, can you like cut my hair? All right, I mean like, 
my little brother was like begging me to cut his hair because like god forbid dad cut his hair all right and on top of him my little brother my little brother did not have a natural hairline so like you know your boy perfected his craft you know this right here is like your boy's handiwork right here so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and as always king asura out you did hit the off you're supposed to stop recording alphonse okay i'm sorry alphonse i don't know what's the fuck going on with him but anyways we're gonna do this like thanos all right one, two, three.